world, my name is Nicholas Montez, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Nicholas Montez. Okay, so today, we are starting a new series, and I don't know if it's going to continue, but, um, leading up to the newest Jack Ryan movie, The Remorse, something like that, I will be reviewing the Jack Ryan movies, the Tom Clancy films. I haven't seen Patriot Games, and I haven't seen The Hunt for Red October, but I have seen The Sum for all Fe of All Fears, so, uh... Let's just get into the review, shall we? So for me, easily the best thing about this movie is that the cast is pretty good. It had a lot of familiar faces with Ben Affleck and Morgan Freeman and Leah Shurub, the guy that played uh, Sabretooth and X-Men Origins Wolverine. So th they were nice additions, and also, I thought the interactions between some of the characters were good. Some acting didn't really feel right. Um, but we'll get into that when we get into the bad, but, um, another thing is that the music, pretty stellar and fits what type of thriller, what type of action movie this is. So, that's, that's about it. And... Let's move on to the bad now. And for me, this is kind of a schlocky movie. This is a bad, pretty, a pretty bad movie. So the first off, the story is kind of weird. Uh, in the tone. So it kind of starts off with this pretty cool sequence where you... It's kind of like Kong Skull Island, where it's an exciting sequence where uh, a plane is crashed and there's like cool action sequence. It's kind of like that in this movie. And it, you don't really understand the context of why is this scene happening? Like, what is going on here? Also, Ben Affleck's performance in this movie, I don't really think was that good. He has not worked as a detective or a spy or some type of guy in an action movie uh and i was kind of excited because um this is another one of those movies that i saw with ben affleck other than you know like him in the dceu with like batman vs man justice league and Zack snyder's justice league uh so it was that uh, kind of cool to see a, a a different a different type of ben affleck but his performance in this movie was just really weird it, it, the tone is kind of all over the place where it, it's sort of a a detective mystery a, it's sort of a mystery an action movie a love story between ben affleck and this girl it doesn't know what type of film it's trying to be and the, the and there's not i don't really think i don't really think the humor worked very well and especially when like they made that like when leaf Shreb and Ben Affleck were fighting these guys, it seemed kind of awkward at times, so it's awkward, and to me, there's none of the, I don't really think there's any action sequences in this movie that really, I, I really liked. Uh, so this was kind of a film to sit, a hard film to sit through, uh, but I mean, I still like the cast, I still like some of the performances, and I still like the music, so it has some good points, but no, I do not like the story. And the story about Russians, easily predictable, so yeah. So that's my thought on the Sum of All Fears. But what do you guys think about the Sum of All Fears? Show me down in the comment section. I want to talk about convers- I want to have some conversations with all you guys. Um, and I want to see what you guys think about movies in general. So just put your comments down below about this movie. With that said, let's get on with my scores for the film. Alright, so that is it for my The Sum of All Fears review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My Instagram name is Marvel6 and my TikTok name is Marvel1Fan. Uh, if you guys don't understand those names. Head to my about section so you can follow me on those social medias. Also, I am also on Letterboxd. It's the same name as my Instagram, Marvel6. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.